Hello, I'm Carol Falcon Chandler. I'm president of Ani Nakota College, and I want to welcome you to our beautiful campus. The college has come a long way. I remember them being in older buildings, and now that uh, foundations and federal programs to the executive order have invested in us, we have new buildings, we have a lot of staff to fill those buildings and faculty, and it's a beacon to the community. It's, it's, I think it's done a lot in this community. I know it has. It's very important to have an Aani Watanahawu, a white clay immersion school for our tribe and our people, but most importantly our youth, because I realized when we started our family that there wasn't very many people to ask um, about our language. And that got me thinking that we really need to establish a revitalization program for our youth and our future. <laughs> That means hello, my name is Feather Woman. I'm White Clay. I live at the Fort Belknap Reservation. I am seven winters old, and my English name is Severe Hogan. At the immersion school, uh, they teach us the language, and we want to know the language because it used to be extinct. I want to keep my language alive. Most of the people in the tribe is probably counting on us to bring the language back. When you show a child who they are, where they come from, and they understand um, who they are inside, they become strong individuals. And when you have people that teach them that are nurturing and care about them, um, they start to thrive. They believe that they can do anything, and they can do anything. When you visit the Aani Nakoda College campus, you will see the identity of the Aani and Nakoda people exhibited throughout the buildings, throughout the rooms, dedicated to all those ancestors that the Aani and Nakoda ancestors that uh, survived so that we could live today. And the way they survived is that they held on to their culture and their, their language and their life ways. And they did so at a time when it wasn't popular. And so a lot of them suffered so that we can survive today. One of the things we do here with our teaching environment is we do a lot of hands-on. Students tend to learn more simply by getting their hands into the project versus reading out of a book. You know, the textbook gives you the background, but the actual learning takes place when you're in it. So as I lecture, our students are in a computer following along real time, doing actual work versus just reading it or doing theory. Um, and that seems to help them to connect. This class uh, allows you to get as much hands-on experience as, as you need. You know, for an associate's degree, that's, I mean, we're learning a lot more than we would have in any other institution. What you will find once you come here is that we have the latest technologies available. We try to keep all of our labs current, all of the software current, and so that we're on the cutting edge all the time because technology is so dynamic and is so evolved so fast that we try to keep up with that because that gives you a edge knowing that you're doing stuff real time with what's happening in the world today in technology. Since I was small, I had an interest in computers. And thanks to James and this class, I've been learning a lot more than what I exposed myself to. So I learned more than I ever could by myself. This is an introduction to organic and biochemistry class, Chem 123. It's the second semester of the sequence of chemistry courses that is taken by Allied Health students. And in this class, we do a lot of hands-on applications of things that we learn in the lecture, we watch demos in the lecture, but then we come into the lab and we actually get to interact and handle the chemicals and see their reactions and make reactions happen. Waiting for this one to turn to 80 degrees. And I have to put this back in there until it turns into a liquid and mix them. 
One of our values here at our college is that we take cultural and traditional uh, knowledge and science and try to blend that with Western science. And in our chemistry, college chemistry class, we were recently doing a unit on thermochemistry, and we did all of the Western science where we, where we used a calorimeter and we found out what the heat of reactions were for acids and bases put together. But yesterday what we did was take some of the practice of of people from thousands of years ago who were practicing thermochemistry and I wanted my students to see that in practice based on a cultural tradition here in which the Assiniboine tribe was called stony people because they cooked their food with stones and it was a fun chance for the students to do something that they'd heard people talk about or maybe read about but they got to do it in their chemistry class. We did cook a number of things and uh, meat and potatoes and parsnips and, uh, and some eggs. I'll tell you, the eggs were pretty good. Uh, my name is Greg Drummer. I am the business instructor and advisor at uh, Ani Nakoda College. Uh, our business degree is uh, put together for students to, uh, that have several goals. One would be to further their education in a four-year institution. Another would be to enhance their technical skills for employment purposes. The uh, business degree has two options. One of them we call the administration option, the other uh, technology option, and that would be a two-year degree program. My name is Richard Martinez. I'm a student here at Ani Nakota College. I'm currently getting my business degree through Greg Drummer. He's my advisor and teacher. And I'm going through the college so I know every aspect of the business. I'm going to be opening my own archery shop, so I'd like to know every aspect of the business side of things so I could run everything myself. We also have a one-year uh, travel management certificate and we're working on offering other certificates and the courses individually are good for um, training or specific instruction for example if you would just like to take an accounting course or two that would help you with your current position or help you gain a position that's all available also. The business courses that are offered here at the college, they're amazing. All of the credits are transferable to any university or tribal college, so which makes that's really super. I am impressed with all of my fellow uh, teachers here, instructors. I believe whatever degree program you would pick on the Nakota College is the, is the place to, to get that started and to uh, further yourself. Uh, I'm a little biased toward the business program. I think we've had some good graduates, had some success, and it's all because the students have worked hard and, uh, and we've, we've done some things not only within the curriculum but within the community, service projects and so on. But I'd, I'd encourage anyone, if you need one course, if you want to get a full two-year degree, move, move on to a four-year from here, this is the place to start. I'm Carmen Taylor. I'm the Dean of Academics here at Ani Nakota College, and we we're very excited this year about offering dual credit classes at one of our local high schools. We have a memorandum of agreement in place, and we offer college writing in the fall, and we're offering public speaking this spring. Those students will be able to start college with either three or six credits, and they're pretty excited about it. Okini Stuni Doniku Shaley Atatsi. I said hello, my name is Shaley Atatsi. I am from the Blackfeet Reservation. I am a student at the Ani Nakota College. I am currently majoring in elementary education. I am part of the Indian Educator Development Program here at Ani Nakota. My advisor is Dr. Donna Miller, and without her, I wouldn't be graduating next year with my bachelor's. And our goal is to prepare teachers who are culturally responsive. Our public school systems need more American Indian educators because we believe that by staying determined, disciplined, and driven for family, community, and culture, we can create a better world for our children through education. And I can tell you, if you come to school here, the scholarships are there for you, the help is there for you, the tutors are there for you, the faculty are there for you, and you are more than four times as likely to finish at a tribal college than you would have if you had gone to another place because of the success of tribal colleges. Hello, my name is Toma Campbell Hoops and I'm the Director of Financial Aid Services at Ani Nakota College. And I am Tanya Cochran Buck, Financial Aid Assistant. We are a Pell eligible public institution open to anyone interested in attending here. 
Come see either one of us regarding any financial aid questions you may have. We'd be happy to help. Hi, I'm Eva English. I'm the library director here at Ani Nakota College. The library is open for the uh, Ani Nakota College faculty, staff, and students. The library has about 10,000 books available. We also have magazines and newspapers. The library subscribes to online databases for anyone's research needs. We have computers available for the faculty, staff, students, and for the community as a whole. I'm Dan Kinsey. I'm a microbiology instructor at Ani Nakota College. And today we're in the Microbiology for Health Sciences lab. Uh, our students are looking at cultures that they started on Monday. Checking to see if for the fermentation of the gas, if there's a gas bubble in there, it's fermented, right? And if it's yellow, it's acidic. If it's red, it's a base, it didn't change. This course is a requirement for the Allied Health degree, and it is also an elective for our environmental science program. It's very hands-on, uh, so they apply what they learn in the lecture. Naha Nanisa It, Erica McKinn Hansen, and I am the Allied Health Instructor at Ani Nakota College. The Allied Health Program at Ani Nakota College offers students the opportunity to build their foundational skills in order to pursue careers in the healthcare professions. You can come here and get your anatomy and physiology in a smaller class setting with one-on-one -on -one, uh, learning and instruction. Um, and we're a family here, so you can get these difficult courses um, in, in a smaller setting. In my opinion, tribal colleges are, like Aani Nakota College, are important because we're going to be preserving a lot of the Native American culture and we're going to be able to pass this down to further generations to come. I have learned so much about culture that I have never learned before, and I plan on going into nursing and having a background in a Native American culture. I It'll benefit me in my job. I am a non-native student. In fact, all three of us that have spoken here today are non-native students from different areas around the college. Uh, another thing that I like about this college is I've, be I've made really good friends out here. Um, I've made, like with these three girls, we've become really close friends. We're in a lot of the same clubs and groups together, so we get to interact and talk with each other a lot, so it's pretty cool. And another good thing that is good about this college is our carpentry program it has been expanding. They have built the greenhouse, they have helped build buildings, so they have benefited the community quite a bit. I'm Robert Kitson, the carpentry instructor here at Ani Nakota College. One of the projects that we're working on this year is the construction of the new carpentry shop. Now in this process, we're able to work side by side with the subcontractors on the job that are masters in their area to help the students develop an understanding and their skills by working with them on the site in the construction of this new building. Hi, my name is Lynn, and I'm a graduate at the Aani Nakota College Carpentry course. You guys should come check it out. Hi, I'm Sean Bell. This is my welding class at Ani Nakota College. I'm okay. setting up for a vent test for the D11 structure test. It's a one inch. It didn't break, no cuts, no nothing. It's good. Pass the test. 045 pulse. Do some overhead bend test. See the, how how, uh, how good the quality of the weld is. It's the ultimate test. We offer one year welding certificate as well as a two year in applied science in welding. In your life, you'll face a lot of challenges. You really will. But if you get a good education and you try to make a difference, then no one can take that education away from you and you can just about go anywhere that you want to. Go to Aani Nakota College. Yes. You won't regret it. That's right. <laughs> you won't regret it.